Monday was National Clean Out Your Computer Day. Nearly 75% of adults owning a smartphone, laptop, computer, maybe not doing the best job of that. So we've got Travis Reed with us. He manages the Geek Squad over at Best Buy to talk about uh, getting things cleaned out and doing it the right way. Welcome to the show, man. Yeah, thanks, Chris. I appreciate you having me. A um, couple things, just kind of as we look through cleaning up our devices, a lot of customers might have them for six months, maybe a year, and um, even longer than that sometimes. So just a couple tips and tricks kind of get started. A um, couple things we kind of look at. Outside is just as important as the inside. So I always like to make sure that we have um, different devices to clean them. Uh, keys get sticky. Mainly what we focus on on the repair side is making sure that that fan has some actual dust on it. We want to take that stuff off so overheating isn't an issue with that. So we have like some canned air, things like that that you can find. Uh, make sure you pick that up and really kind of get towards the actual vents that are on there. So yeah, do you mind showing us what you mean? Because I have no idea what you're talking about. Right yeah, now. so on a lot of laptops with them, they'll have you know your canned air and you'll have your different ports and your vents on them. So like this one, the actual vents are right on the back side there. So taking that canned air, compressed air, and actually blowing inside the vents here to get a lot of that stuff out so that way overheating doesn't cause any so issues simple, with it. Isn't going to cut it or what? Um, I would probably recommend not, but uh, definitely anything's better than nothing, right? <laughs> And then beyond that, Chris, you know, a lot of times we look at stuff inside, right? So simple cleaning, that's one great thing. But as we look through it, making sure that our computer's working as fast as it can be. So some simple things that we like to talk about is really just backing up that information on there, right? Had it for maybe two or three years, and you got a lot of stuff on there. We use these things every day. So making sure that we back that stuff up, some great sources for that would be like iCloud. If you have a Mac computer, backing that stuff up to iCloud or even uh, with Microsoft, they have OneDrive. That really takes a lot of that information and puts it outside of that computer. So then you can delete some of that stuff off once you verify that it's on those sources. So with that being said, like let's say you got a computer, it's not running as fast as you'd like. Does the cleaning, is that gonna help that or the other things people can be doing? Well, so like the clean, the physical cleaning itself is gonna help just with prolonging the long, longevity of the dice. Getting rid of all those files and that kind of stuff. Will Absolutely, so as your computer starts up, all the information that you have on there, that stuff has to load up. Right? So when you go to look at things or when you go to try to find a file from three or five years ago that might be on there somewhere, it takes time to load that stuff up. So when you power on your computer, the more information you have, the longer it's going to take that device to boot up, um, which will also help just that longevity of how long you can tolerate on your computer before you want to buy something new. Okay, good stuff. Anything else you want to talk about with uh, the iPad or as far as cleaning up? Yeah, so on the iPad and even on any of your, your laptops as well, just delete some of those programs, right? We load so many things on there. Maybe we downloaded a program for a while because uh, it was something neat or we saw a friend that had it, but we haven't used it in a long time. So making sure that we're deleting those programs, rule of thumb is six months or longer if you haven't used that program, Get delete of that off of there, right? It doesn't need to be on there if you've downloaded it once or installed it once. You can always put that back on there again. How about like just the, the, the desktop, if you will, itself, as far as cleaning that up? I mean, does it matter if you keep that clean? Can it be? Yeah, so the desktop on the, the laptop itself, those are all things that start up when you first power on your computer. So if you're experiencing that, that computer is taking a little longer to start up or, hey, when I go to click on something to do, it takes a while. If you have anything on the desktop, delete those things off of there. Or if it's stuff that you want to save, save it in the user library. Um, that allows it to save actually on the hard drive, but not start up when you first boot it up allows it to make it a lot faster and more efficient. Yeah, people need to hire you. So if they want to do that, how do they go about getting um, in contact? A couple ways. A lot of people have our Tola Tech support membership, which you can do us online or over the phone, even go into the store. Um, but we're always available at Geek Squad. So if you swing out over to the Fargo location here, we'll definitely be able to help you out with that. Um, we do reservations, walk-ins, whatever is best for you guys. But we're just glad to help the community. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. All right, stay with us. Coming up, natural enhancements with Premier Aesthetics right after this.